let's discuss other mistake that many people is doing. Of course, every raw image, we're going to start from the software to process the raw images. Whether it's camera raw, and I'm going to show you the process in camera raw, whether it's Lightroom or Capture One, and I'm also going to show you the Capture One workflow because this is the software of my choice. So we always will start from camera raw software. And if you're really thinking seriously about black and white images, uh, I understand you might be just hobbies, so you might like quick conversion, but every time you think about amazing images, about the professional conversion, about uh, sending your images to fashion or beauty magazines, about having publications, about, about making really professional work, you will consider my words right now. So let's say we open image in camera row again, and I'm going to start from this basic image. It will be our first example in our course. So the first mistake that people and you could do in um, your process is convert this image to grayscale to edit. Uh, I mentioned in the previous lesson, we check if the image look right as a black and white but you will never do this at the very beginning and you will never convert your image on the level of raw processing into black and white. And I'm going to explain you why you're not doing this. It's understandable, you can convert it straight away and to do some editing in camera raw, but you will not have this flexibility that you could have later on. You see, once you convert an image into black and white, you cannot reverse, you cannot go back. So from the very beginning, you're losing opportunity of working on lights on each and specific part of the image. So once you convert this into black and white, you cannot work on the ginger hair that she has. You cannot work on the skin tones she has, but you will always work just on the black and white image later on in Photoshop. You don't want to lose the possibility of having this, this just possibility to work on the colors because colors are very important uh, to set up the lights on the image. So you want to keep the colors as long as possible to work with the contrast, to work with the specific lines on each color. And at the end, you want to work on black and white outcome, but you don't want to start from this. So you will never start you're retouching from converting image to black and white. There is just few things you need to do at the very beginning. And I'm going to tell you about them in the next lesson.